uh, stream. <laughs> I'm going to launch right into Subnautica. This game uh, is is quite a spook. And I'm, I'm honestly, in some ways, I've been dreading this. There we go, invert the look. There we go. I, uh, I've been sitting on this game for a very long time. Actually, let's turn that music down a little bit. Bimple really puckered my b-hole, frankly. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing good? How are you? I'm doing all right. Spooky! Do I want to do survival? Crash land on a dangerous alien planet, scavenge resources, and manage hunger thirst to survive. We'll try it. I like your new name. E rain. <clears throat> what was it? What was Ryan, Ryan Dog's name before? Uh oh. This game is kind of terrifying. I think anyone who doesn't have. That last Sophobia that plays this game will automatically get it. What is, is the last Sophobia the fear of deep water? Yo, that panel really wanted it. <laughs> like, that panel went for the kill. Oh no. Yo, pick up the fire extinguisher. Are we still reporting bugs? It is 2022, our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> uh, are we still reporting bugs on Subnautica, a ancient game? Is it ancient? This game is top tier horror stressing. Yeah. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. I've heard I've heard very spooky things about this game. Hello, Sock. Um, I, this is a game I've been waiting literal years to play because I knew that it was spooky and it had underwater and that the underwater was spooky. And I've actually, um, I've gotten kind of, um, I've had a previously a, a not, not, I wouldn't say a fear of underwater. When I was a kid, I wouldn't play any game that had underwater features. Straight up, wouldn't do it. Um, because I I was very afraid of underwater. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, okay. Was that a that was a bad lad? Detecting sulfur deposits. Kind of makes. Well, what's, what's going to happen is if you play it this month, what's going to happen is you're going to beat it before I do because I'm going to I'm I'm splitting extra spooky stream into two games. We're going to be playing um, a couple of hours of Subnautica, and we're going to be playing a couple of hours of Pathologic Two. What is that? What is that? That's weird looking thing that's a weird looking thing oh god don't like that what is that oh that's another one oh no swim to surface yo I'm not doing very well right now 
Did we die the the big death? Hmm. You died and lost your some belongings. Oh jeez. Can I can I get my, those belongings back, please? Also, can can we can we cut it out with some of this acid mushroom quartz? Um, all right, let's uh, let's just do a little bit. Let's not. I don't want to be too ambitious now. Can I can I get in from underneath? Yes, I can. Thanks. Okay. Um, fabricator. Food. Sustenance. Cooked food. Cooked peeper. Big didn't pay attention to his O2. You gotta look for titanium to craft an air tank. You gotta get oxygen. All right. Thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook some food. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. We can't do cured food yet. Why not? Is it because I don't have that? I don't have the food? Open storage container. Acid mushroom, purple fungus. So we have some water, some nutrient block. All right, let's dump that stuff in. Can we can we eat some of this? Consume. We'll, we'll consume some of that. We'll deposit the rest, including this fire extinguisher. Blueprints, titanium, metal salvage, bleach, battery. All right. Do y'all want me to do story stuff, or do you want me to just, like, rush this a little bit? Filtered water. I, do I have to make a water filter thing? Also, how do I get out of this thing? Is it tab? Okay. Um, <clears throat> medical kit fabricator. I got a, I got a medical kit. Damaged radio, use repair tool. I don't have one. Not yet. We're gonna, we're gonna make one, maybe. Basic metals. This is uh, hopefully gonna let us make some stuff. Tools, equipment, standard O2 tank. We need titanium. Okay, gotcha. We need fins. Um... Uh, we need probably a repair tool, so we're going to need silicon rubber, silicone rubber, cave sulfur, titanium. Okay, so we need we need titanium. Let me look at check. Cured food requires salt. Non-cured food will eventually rot. I like the little animation um, for diving into the water. That's fun. Okay, so we're looking for titanium. Do I need a special tool for titanium? What is this? Limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely or plausible. Okay. All right. We got some stuff. We got some limestone. So I'm looking for titanium. What the? What is titanium gonna look like? I know not to. Uh, I know not to swim too far away from our area for fear of some spooky things showing up. There is some good stuff over there, though. That might be ti the titanium that I need. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't find some titanium. Do I need something special to get this stuff? This might just be wreckage, but I see a box. Cargo? Can I not obtain the cargo? What is that? Looks like it, I cannot obtain the cargo. Okay. 
You can find metal scrap lying around that gives titanium as well as limestone and other deposits that gives ores. Fish provide food and bladder fish provide water. Do not cook them. Okay. Did I... Is this what I'm holding? What am I holding right now? Floater. What does a floater provide? Um, composed of mul multiple organisms in symbiosis life cycle unknown. Okay. The long, dark, pathologic, and surprisingly fallout dust are good examples of survival games. Not this. This is not a good survival game, according to Imatan. Metal salvage. What, um, what is considered a good survival game? Uh, what, 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 uh, what chat consider to be a good survival game? What does that mean? Ooh, titanium. Perfect. Okay, so we need two more of those. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Uh, for me, specifically, I think a good survival game is one that, where the survival elements are a, like, major part of the gameplay and not just a uh, an obstacle for the player to overcome like i know that sounds weird like uh, you know it, it should be an obstacle but it doesn't it shouldn't just get in the way of the gameplay if that makes sense okay we got bladder fish don't cook those they provide water like i find raft is a great example of what I'm talking about is like don't the you know the the, the survival components just kind of seem to get away get in the way of the gameplay. The gameplay is not survival. The gameplay is exploration and stuff like that. Climb ladder. Hello RGB. I told what is not survival games earlier. Let me see. Hot take right off the bat: Subnautica isn't a survival game. Most of the survival games are just hoarding and making crap from endless supplies of resources. Placing hunger and water levels aren't making games survival. Well, there's also the building uh, your your ship, your your uh, your base. I think base building is is possibly part of what makes a game survival. I think that um, if a game has good uh, a good sense of um, building up your quality of life, therefore, like you know, by which I mean like making your life easier than than there than it is a, a good has a good sense of survival i think that's what survival is it's not so much like trying to stay alive it's improving your quality of life which is uh, i why i think that vintage story is such a good survival game is because though it is a lot of collecting resources and um you know trying to stay fed um it is also a game about improving your quality of life. And that progression is very satisfying. That's my hot take. Pathologic is a really good survival game, especially with the decisions it forces you to make. Survi Subnautica is a horror game with survival elements. The focus isn't on straight-up survival. Long Dark, Pathologic, and even Vintage Story are more straight-up survival games. Vintage Story is very much a survival game. It's, it's the survival game that Minecraft wanted to be originally. Okay, so what can we make here? Air bladder. We have, we have some. Uh, okay, we have a. Uh, we can make an oxygen tank. That's what we're gonna do right now. High capacity oxygen tank. We're gonna cook some more food. So what am I doing with this uh, weird thing here? I don't know what these floaters are for, but we're, I'm gonna store them. Um, I'm gonna cook cook our or sorry, eat our um, some of our food. Does food spoil? Um, we're I think we're okay for water. I will. I'll drink one water. There you go. I'll keep the first aid kit. 
Or should I not? I wonder, I wonder if that's what I should do. Hey RGB, hello Kevbo, hello everyone. We're, we're, we're jumping into, into Subnautica. So I've just got my first oxygen tank. Oh, that animation is really something. Should I not go into the water at nighttime? Uh, I'm wondering if um, going underwater at nighttime is a, is a mistake. It is kind of spooky at nighttime, I gotta say. Writhing weeds. Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Okay, I got some stuff. I'm gonna go back to our thing so I can dump them off. You're gonna have to go into water at night until you craft a bed. Better look into making a flashlight. Finally finished D&D campaign. I was playing for a year or so. My par character gone mad and got sent to hell where he basically turned into Doom Guy. <laughs> wow. Making some glass. Don't know what that's for. High capacity O2 tank is next. We need, I need two ta uh, two glass, of which I have one, and uh, some more titanium ore, so I'm gonna need to get that. Um, we'll definitely wanna make a base at some point. I don't know how necessarily we do that. Um, okay, so how does one make a light? Fins would be nice. Floating air pump, none of those. Here we go, flashlight. I need a battery. Where does one get a battery? I don't like, uh, I don't like the underwater at night, but hey, at least the nighttime is very short. This is good. Let's check out that cave over there. Happy birthday. I'm a tan. Yeah, it's it's I'm a tan's birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday to I'm a tan. Oh god. Ouch. No. I hate those things already. Pick up cave sulfur. Well, at least they give me something useful after they've exploded. Oh no, I, I don't know how to get out of here. Oxygen. I'm gonna drown. Oh no. Oh no! No! <gasps> oh my god, I'm alive! Alright, that was, that was kinda scary. Um, what else am I trying to collect right now? Ice cream are on the way. Nice. I don't think I collected this over here. I don't know what that is, but I don't want it. Is that a thing I can collect? Doesn't look like it. What did that sound? Is that something I should be, oh, afraid of? Is that something that uh, I should be concerned of? Yeah, I mean, I knew this game was gonna be pretty stressful. And it is. So 
so far right now I'm just like uh, trying to trying to keep things you know pretty chill I'm not trying to go too far outside my comfort zone I do want to explore these these under caves a little bit because there's likely some good stuff down here. They get uh, these these caves can get kind of um, labyrinthine, huh? What was that? No, 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 no! I hate that. Okay. Well, there's that means there's more sulfur down there. So let's go get that sulfur, and then I'm gonna head back to base. Titanium. I don't know if I have enough um, stuff to make the next thing, or yeah, I don't. I don't know if I can make a battery yet. Can I make a battery yet? Where's my thing? Is it is it that over there? Okay. Emotional support fish. Crash fish are the little explosion bastards. They live in sulfur deposits, so when one starts chasing after you, there's sulfur nearby. Okay, we're gonna make some water. Bladder fish is along for the ride. It sure is. Until I cook them into water. Cooked boomerang, good eating around the fins. Look at that thing, that thing looks disturbing. The leviathans are pretty scary, not gonna lie. Well, I haven't uh, seen one yet, but I have seen a picture of them and they do look scary. Ooh, we can make a battery. Does, uh, does this thing take straight from the, the uh, storage? Oh, I, didn't make the, I didn't mean to make that actually, that was a mistake. We can make more glass. I might have enough resources to make a batter, um, a flashlight, and the next uh, oxygen tank. Well, it says it needs a standard O2 tank. Does it not take the one directly, like, on me? All right, we're gonna make a flashlight. Um, okay, titanium. You swim faster when you're not holding something in your hands. There's a button to put your item away. Good to know. I will try and find that button. Kevbo got ignored. Can't win them all. Please God, everyone in the chat, spam at Bimple that he swims faster when he's not holding stuff in his hand. It'll drive me insane to watch him swimming around for hours holding a fish. Gotcha. Uh, floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as starting point for a pipe chain. Pipes, standard O2, deployables, waterproof locker. No, we don't need that stuff yet. Um, all right, hold on a second. How? What is the button to put your item away? Deconstruct, left hand use, cycle next. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Is it just like, uh, oh, exit holster. Okay, that's that's probably it. All right, we got a, we got a health kit, that's good. Damage secondary systems, use repair tool. So what does it, to, what does it take to make a repair tool? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, tools, air bladder. It's going to take silicone or rubber. We're going to need silicone rubber. How does one get that? We need creep vine seed cluster. Okay. But question, um, how, how, how is it? Okay, so we can make this. We need probably a build tool of some kind. Yeah, habitat builder. That's not for a while. Here we go. Um... Okay, we, we gotta unequip that, 
so that we can make the the next I kind of wish it would just do that automatically I, I, it's a little bit annoying that you have to unequip your t tank just to make the next tank uh, thank you Mimesis you're doing the gods work um, Bimple you swim faster without something in your hand Okay, you do you, you swim faster, but is it not worth holding a light, a flashlight? I will. Oh no! Oh my god! So those things respawn, huh? Oh god, I hate it. Um, let's, uh, let's use a health kit. And we'll drink some water as well. Actually, I should put away some of our stuff. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. Uh, I'm gonna need to make a bigger storage container, huh? Unidentified creature... Um, not sure, okay, blueprints. How does one make a storage container? Oh, a rebreather. Ro wiring kit fiber mesh, we'll, we'll work on that later. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Solar panels, we'll work on that stuff later. Okay, so I've, I've officially filled up our stuff. Get a med kit. Is that just like a uh, visual bug? That's a very strange sound. I don't know if I like that sound. I'm sure I'm not gonna like a lot of the sounds in this game. So I need some kind of seed in order to make silicone. I'm gonna check out this area over here. It's a little bit of food. I do have more oxygen now. Well, what about those? Are those kind of what I need to make rubber? Smaller fish do respawn, but it takes a while. It is possible to overfish a biome so that the fish stop spawning. I'm not going to be much help uh, of help when you're going to play Pathologic 2. I didn't play the second one. But you played the first one. So that looks like a thermal vent. I'm assuming I do not want to go down there until I have a device of some kind. Creature eggs. This looks like what I want. Seed cluster. Inventory full. Is it? Oh, that stuff is very large actually. Alright, let's, what is this? Metal salvage. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to base. I'm not feeling super good about where I am right now, but that is what I need to make silicone. Uh, slav junk surprisingly does good survival, probably from experience of being slav. You might be more help than you think. Pathologic Two is literally a remake, reboot, and remaster. Um. I've, I've heard that it's not just a reboot, it's also uh, a sequel. <laughs> like, um, somehow Pathologic 2 ends up being both a sequel and like a prequel and a reboot and all this kind of extra stuff. Which is wild to me. 
Creature eggs are useless to you right now, FYI. Oh. Alright, well. I have them now, though. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Alright, let's make some stuff. Lubricant. I don't want lubricant, I want silicone rubber. Um, I'm not sure how much silicone rubber I need. I want to make fins. I have enough um, stuff. I should be able to make fins and then also something else. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I need to make the repair tool. I also want to make, oh, the scanner. Used to acquire technology bl blueprints and data on living organisms. Interesting. Habitat builder. We need this, but this is way further down the line. Um, making a survival knife might be a good idea. What am I missing for the serv? Oh, I can make I can make one. Nice. Pathologic one is weird. Pathologic two is weird. I do want to make a rebreather. So, what does it take to make wiring kit and fiber mesh? Um, wiring kit costs silver ore, which we have none, and, uh, it looks like we don't even have the blueprint yet to make the other one, so that's, that's cool. We can make cured peeper, so I will make cured peeper. Uh, what is the benefit of making cured food over normal food? I, I did ask earlier, but I don't know if someone answered and I missed it, but, uh, does food spoil? Ah, this answers my question. Old cooked peeper. Yes. Yes, it does spoil. Okay, so we're going to have to eat that. Rotten cooked Gary fish. All right, we're going to drop that under underwater. We have a normal peeper. Um decomposing, decomposing old Rotten cooked Gary fish. We'll, we'll drop that. We'll throw the cured peeper in there. Oh, you know what? I should turn this creep vine cluster into rubber. What is this metal salvage? Can I turn this into? Yeah, titanium. Okay, so let's turn that into titanium. Technically, it's a fishing game. Yo, this game's got fishing game, fishing mechanics in it. I'm a hand. That must. That that means you have to like it. That, that's the rule. I didn't make it up. You did. Okay, we need more rubber. Um, do I have to, like, do something to the ship that is currently off to the side there? I'm, like, out of room. Uh... I'm thinking I need to make a storage container. I'm also, I, I need to drink some water. Do we have some water I can drink? Yes, we do. Vital signs stabilizing. I don't have any bladder fish, unfortunately. Titanium ingot. Can I, do I have to turn titanium into titanium ingots? Um, b -b 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 copper ore. All right, I'm gonna make a storage container. I'm gonna try to anyway. Equipment, or do I need to make a build thing first in order to do that? Oh no, deployables, waterproof locker, there we go. Can I just put that in here? You will go to that ship eventually. You need stuff for it first, okay. All right, I want to put this down here. Can I put this, does this have to be underwater? Can't drop item here. All right, um, I guess I'll put this down here for now. Uh, that's not a lot of room, but that's okay. It's at least some room. I guess I'll throw the eggs in there. I'll throw the eggs in there until I need the room back. I need some more water, so I'm gonna take some time to get some bladder fish. 
don't worry. I, I have, I've learned my lesson. I am putting them away when I get them. Uh, you said that it's possible to overfish, so maybe I don't want to pick up too many bladder fish. Watch him get ultra unlucky, ultra lucky time pod with sea glider or something. I'm trying not to backseat game anytime Bimple plays a game. I love, I start screaming at him about how to play. Yes, but historically, Kevbo, I have always thanked you for the, the, the backseating. Backseating really just means that um, you're complaining at someone. That's all that means. I, I appreciate uh, the information, especially on a game like this where I'm, like, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing really. Not that this game is necessarily super complicated, but it's, it's, you know, the, the info is going to be, is going to go well. Um, so this needs power. Can I, can I use it to repair this thing? Okay. Play message. Nice. Oh, we got power. The, the place is looking fresh. You definitely want to start ranging out from the safe shallows around the pod. That's what the overfishing mechanic combats. You can't stay in one spot for long in Subnautica. Gets a time pod with green batteries in it. Um, it will I lose this these tools if I uh, if I die? I want to move the the knife to a better thing, but it's not letting me. Okay, well, I won't then. You can't overfish because there is always bigger fish. There's always a p bigger fish. People like to complain about the prequels, and that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question that for a moment, or else I. I risk losing my my nerd license, um, but you know. So maybe we should talk a little bit about how ubiquitous those prequels have become. So many quotable lines, so many so many notable scenes. Okay, some good stuff down here. Can I... Oh, nice. I can use the light as a... as a... creature egg. Okay, I won't pick those up because they're not necessary yet. This was a... this was a good little cave here. Lots of good stuff. We've got <clears throat> a lot of oxygen now, so I have uh, the ability to kind of approach this with some comfort. Uh, lads, what is the next thing I should work towards making? Cut with knife. What does that mean? Okay. Creep vine sample. Okay. I definitely feel a little bit more swift with uh, my my paddle, my my fins. Do minerals respawn? No, they don't. The Star Wars prequels are terrible movies, but they're top tier meme material. I like the shadow. That's a nice touch. Adds a bit, quite a bit to uh scanner if you don't have one already. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Nope. Yo, my dude, did you actually wait for me? Oh god. Ouch. Oh, I guess I was holding my light in my hand. That's why I wasn't a wasn't able to run away as quickly. I'm not going to pick up too many of those, just enough. Okay. Um, minerals can respawn, but it takes a long time. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought that minerals were gone when they're gone. Okay, um... I didn't mean to do that. I just want to op open the storage. I don't want to name it. Decomposing creep vine sample. We can consume it. Is there... What, what are we meant to do with that? Alright, let's see what I need to make the scanner with. I'm sure I have everything I need at this point. Tools. Uh, scanner. We need a battery. Okay. Simple, you will need a scanner to scan Rex, salvage, and build advanced stuff, FYI. Well, it's a good thing I just made some. Also, fiber mesh. That's what that stuff is for. I believe I need that for something important. We're pretty- I feel- I feel pretty good about my pace right now. Deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max 20 discs per path. Interesting. Like a breadcrumb tool. Habitat builder. This is what we need. Um, well, we need that eventually. I, I know we're probably not there yet. Flare. We can make a flare. Why would we want a flare? Useful for distracting certain predators. Oh, that's why. Um, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Rebreather, that's what we wanted. Okay, so how does one make a wiring kit? We need two silver. We have one silver right now. And, uh, did someone answer me on, um... Does, uh... Does the crafting take automatically from this box? Because I'm not sure about that. Floater. Are these, like, actually worthwhile to me? Or should I, like, throw them back in the water? Nice pace. Nothing was more stressful in Metro's Ranger difficulty than taking one hit and having your mask crack on the surface. I have played the first two Metro games. I have not played the new one. Make your games more horrific and stressful. So we have the scanner. Self scan. There we go. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Can we can we drop this? We can drop it into the water. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. Listen, my my general um, tact or. Uh, you know, technique when it comes to survival games. Sorry, I'm a tan. Um, <laughs> is, uh, you know, I pick up everything and then I sort it out later. You know, you, I like to figure it out later. But it seems to me that um, inventory space is, is actually a very limiting thing here. So, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm fine. Can we scan this? Yeah, we can. We can scan creatures and stuff. Indigenous life form, gasopod. Let's look at that. Filtration system, algae gland. Is this uh, useful stuff or is this just like completionist, like learn about everything? I do know um, there's some like ship parts. It might be towards the other ship. Oh, here we go. 
No, that's a fine choice. Uh, things don't despawn generally. Interesting. Never watched Star Wars, but the only... Can we, can we scan this? No, we can't. Can we scan this? No? Yo, these things really do be farting in, in my presence. It's kind of rude. Uh, hello Ben. How you doing? Scanning is good. Scanning waveforms is mostly for completionism. Scanning salvage mandatory for playing. Oh, I, yeah, I got you on that one. Just gonna get our uh, oxygen back and I'm gonna look for some more stuff. Oh, there's some something over there. How are we doing? We need some more water. I'll try and collect some more bladder fish when I see them. Can we scan that? Nope. I'm assuming stuff like that is not necessarily useful. I feel like the, the wreckage is like leading me to things I need to scan. Um, did I did I seriously just scan a trash can? Oh, those are bad, right? Those guys there, they're they're not okay, right? I assume that those are actually uh, quite dangerous. Can we like hide in here? We can. We do not, we don't want to disturb those guys. Uh, Creepvine forests are a good starting place to explore for new players. What is that? That looks, um, like a predator. That thing looks not okay. Alright, here's a, a creep vine forest. Here's some stuff to maybe scan. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's, uh, that's salvage. Oh, that's a that's a baddie. I'm kind of lot. Oh, there we go. We have to go that way. Subnautica without water is weird. That's how it always starts. It looks lovely and welcoming, but then there's the screaming and darkness monstrosities. <laughs> These areas seem kind of semi-dangerous. There's a bunch of those fish there, and I seem to recall those are actually not okay. When I say I say I recall. I've seen pictures of people playing this game, and and I know that there are some creatures that are like they're faster than you, and uh, you know they're they're, they're they'll eat you. They'll eat you. They'll make they'll make you they'll make you. They'll turn you into a pumpkin. There you go. Wait, what button? They'll turn you into a pumpkin! I wish it was always lovely and welcoming. 10 out of 10 would play. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. I need some more bladder fish. I appreciate how short the nighttime is in this game. Oh, is there something in here? No. Is it just me or did nighttime last for like two seconds there? 
Ooh. This is interesting. How much room do we have right now? We've got plenty of room. What I need is silver. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Lots of quartz. I, I, am I right in believing I don't really need quartz right now? Oh, we're, we're actually running out of oxygen. Spooky month. It's pumpkin. Bumpkin. The safe shallows are around your pod and are totally fine. The creep vine forests are a distinctly crimson area. And they're the next best place to explore after that. Spooky. Spooky. Well, this place looks pretty cool to explore. I don't know what these guys are. I don't think I need more quartz right now. Quart Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Silver! Gold! Silver! Copper! I could definitely explore this area a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. Shoot. And we'll come back here eventually, but I think I'm good for now. Some more copper. I think we've got tons of resources. We can. I can maybe start working on the build tool. Um, what is that? Anything cool? No, not really. My only concern with a game like this is I know it's a very long haul game, and it's um, you know I hope that it's entertaining to y'all. Anything good in here that I uh, need to reclaim? Let's um let's grab this stuff for now in case I need it. Could also just be nighttime, only some bits of it. Can you break terrain? AI detonation within two hours, bimple silver gold. <laughs> silver gold. Alright, what do we what do we need here? We need I would like a rebreather. I would definitely like to make a um what is it now? The build tool? Habitat builder. We're gonna need a wiring kit, battery, computer chip. A lot of stuff. We can make we can't make the computer chip, we need table coral sample. So we're gonna need table coral sample. We are gonna need copper wire. Can we make the copper wire? We can. Let's uh let's get this started bit by bit. We can make a wiring kit, let's do that. We need a wiring kit for a couple of things. I'm wondering if I should make the um, rebreather now or wait. We need a battery. Uh, we need acid mushrooms for the battery. Okay, so we don't have well, we do have acid. Okay, so it, that it answers that question is no, it does not pull directly from storage. That's kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. That's just a very simple quality of life feature to have. This long haul game will be hilariously entertaining once you leave the safe areas, guaranteed. I'm not looking forward to that, to be honest. Um, so we can make the rebreather. What do we need? We need the computer chip. Com whoops. I don't really need that, actually. I don't know why I'm wasting the power on that. Do you need to make a new light when you run out of power, or do you need to, like, charge it somewhere? I'm asking stupid, obvious questions. Seek fluid intake. <laughs> That's a really funny out-of-nowhere 
So I, I need table coral samples. Coral. Um, do I have any water right now? No. Can we make some water? Yes. Peaks lower than the ocean level. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Um, whoops. Ooh, it's nighttime. So there is a battery charger you can scan, but until you you need to keep crafting new batteries and replacing them in your tools. All right, so we need um, some table coral. Th that, this is not that. What is, is this table coral? Coral shell plate. What does table coral look like? Does it look like this? Yes, it does. So, in theory, we can... Ready to scan. In theory, we can cut this stuff off. Yes. Inventory full. Oh, okay. Well, we should have enough. I should be able to build the uh, habitat. Do I start? Do I want to start building a home, like some kind of habitat, or is that something I should be concerned about later? Okay, so the habitat builder is complete. Uh, I need another wiring kit. I don't have enough silver ore. Shucks. I should be able to make titanium. Bimple phone, you can build multiple bases, outpost homes across the game world. What's more important is ranging out, exploring, and collecting resources, food, and water. Condensed titanium bar. I don't know if I should be wasting titanium on the titanium ingot necessarily. Uh, mobile v vehicle bay sea glide. Probably want to make the sea glide at some point. Grav trap, don't know what that is. Pathfinder tool. It might be useful to make something like that. I'm not sure. Um. So I've got a ton of stuff. I kind like I need. I think the best reason to have a base right now would be to have storage. So let's uh, let's see how much it would cost to make a simple base. Um, hatch reinforcement. Oh, we need lithium. Oh, that's for reinforcement. Foundation. I need lead. Reinforced habitat foundation. These are base pieces. I, I need just like um, a basic like place. Base attached air pump. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. Alright, so... I I guess I feel like I need this foundation. Could, am I wrong about that? So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more of my resources. Yep, 
a big simple base. I mixed it up with Laurel and Yanni, no Coral, unfortunately. Um, I need my lead. Do I have lead? I have titanium, there's my lead. I'm not sure if what I'm doing here is correct. Hold on a second. Sign, trash can, interior, fabricator, radio, wall locker. Small wall mounted storage solution. Could I have that? Oh, locker. Large freestanding storage. This is what I really want. Can I like have this in my little base here? Or do I need to make a big base? Could I just have like a single tube? Sea glide damaged. Wait, what? Life pod three shallows. Crew reported. Oh, I need I need water, pretty badly. Um. Okay, I'm I'm a little bit uh, flustered on this vertical connector compartment. I really just need something very simple. You don't really need any foundation or reinforcements when you're building the top 100 meters of the game. FYI, you can just build some tubes and put stuff in them close to the surface. Okay. Well then, I'm, in that case, I'm just gonna put it here. Um, do I need to build like some kind of door? Hatch. There we go. Enter base. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Ah, I don't have oxygen in there yet. Okay, so I need I need oxygen maybe, or maybe I don't. I just I really do just want a place to put my stuff. You know, as George Carlin would say. Um, interior locker. Now I don't have enough titanium. <laughs> Very good. You can just build some tubes. You really don't need any foundation or reinforcements. Sorry, guys, I know I'm, I'm wasting some time on this, but it's part of the game, and I need to do it. Okay, grab some stuff. Didn't mean to do that. You'll need to build solar panel to power the O2 in the base. I just jumped and landed. On, that was really good. Okay, don't, I don't need this, I don't know why I needed it. Okay, t locker, here we go. And, uh, I mean, we can just, like, can we build a fabricator? We can. Yeah, it costs gold. I don't think I want to do that. Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. It would be nice to make an aquarium. But as you y'all are saying, I could you I need to build solar panels. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, power restored to you, all to binary systems online. Swim up. Uh, so I need a radiation suit now. The the fabricator is the same as in your ship. I figured this as much. I figured it was it was going to be exactly the same. He saw it. Nice. Okay, so what's the, our new equipment? 
radiation suit. We need two fiber mesh, providing insulation from radiation. Thank you for partaking in the uh, your healthy dose of radiation. So this thing has a solar panel now. Does that mean it's providing oxygen? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. Okay. Just want to stuff all my stuff in there. That's a, that's about it. Actually, let's uh we're going to get rid of that. Do you think he's okay? Do you, do you think he's all right? Is he okay? He's all right. He's going to be fine. All right. So we have a base. I need more bladder fish. I'm not seeing as many bladder fish. I'm already worried that I'm overfishing them. We could head towards this crew reported their sea glide damaged. Maybe we can scan something important over there. Ooh, uh oh. Okay, we're okay. Let's uh let's give this a wide berth. I'll have that Gary fish he's having. I'll get have the fish that Gary is having. Yeah, I really wish I could. Well there's some bladder fish. We can definitely grab those. Oh yeah. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I went. I went pretty well. Did you know that the character you're playing name is named John Subnautica? Are you? Uh, do you? Do you watch Vinny? That feels like a Vinny joke right there. I'm seeing some particularly interesting things down there, but unfortunately, they're surrounded by nasties. No. Okay, we're good. Solve the issue. All right. Okay, that all that all went pretty well. I did not know you speak stroke. Uh 
I mean, yes to be pedantic, but you kind of had the water you watered with before, no? So at best, the total amount of water in your position stayed the same? What? But then if you fish a fish, you take the fish, meaning you end up with more fish, which makes just as little sense. What are you saying? If you're wa if you're you're the water you're using for watering water is from an okay. Chat is having a moment. Book smarts. So much better than regular smarts. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, I I got salt salt deposit. Oh, that's nice. Um, all right. So what is the next thing I'm working on? Equipment, compass, displays compass heading on the HUD. That could be nice. Uh, I could definitely use that. I, I think I wanna work on the rebreather. So the rebreather is gonna cost, well, we need some more mesh. So I have to go get some more rubber hose, whatever you know, thing, something. And we need more silver ore. I thought I collected silver ore, but I was wrong because I didn't. This, I thought this was silver, but it's not. So we gotta go get some more silver ore, unfortunately. The Rhino and Nevstar are stroking out. It's, uh, this is a PG-13 stream, guys. No! Ouchies! Hate you. No! I just wanted some more, um, sulfur. Why do you, they call it Ovib? When, oh, oven when you of in the cold food out of hot eat the food <laughs> I love that yo that's that's never not funny to me why do they call it oven when you of in the food and you hot eat out the food well why do you why do they call it refrigerator when you're you're clearly refrigerating the first time you're not, you're not ref, you're, you're refrigerating. Should be called a refrigerator. Bam, bing, do, do, do. What is that? That's a, oh God. That's one of those things, but it spawned sideways. Why did it spawn sideways? When you swim down below 100 meters, your oxygen drains faster. Rebreather makes it so no matter the depth, you lose one oxygen per second. That's good to know. I appreciate that. Why did this thing spawn sideways? <laughs> Game is literally unplayable. Can those, um, those limestone blocks, can they have, like, anything? Or is it always, like, you know, tier one, tier two stuff? I hate you! Go away! Ouch! Okay, hold on. We, we have a kit. Let's use it. Hey, lead. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanted silver. Mom, it's my birthday and I asked you for silver. Why are you giving me lead? It's it's better. You'll grow into it. It's it's fine. You'll you, you know, it's better for you. This is, this is you know, you're 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 uh, you know, you're getting older and uh, you got to start getting bad presents to, to <laughs> To, to, you know, give you some character development. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to be getting stuff you want all the time. Mom, I want 
I want silver. Please. No sun. No silver for you. Looking all around for the silver. Not. F oh, I, I mi actually missed a thing in there. Titanium, that's fine. Early Subnautica, God, these suicidal fish are the worst. Late Subnautica, crash fish, you are so gentle and kind. Yeah. I am, I am well aware of... Ouch. Of how nasty some of the fish get in the late game. Where did, where did he spawn? So I can get the sulfur. Oh, there it is. Sulfur. What's that? Am I receiving a radio call? What's going on? Childhood trauma reenactment. <laughs> no, mom, it's my birthday. Why are you turning in me, turning me into a pumpkin? Because. This will be your... You're gonna become a YouTube streamer. What? What? Mom? That's weird. Why would you say that? That's bizarre. It's okay. I'm gonna start calling you Bimple now. No. No, Mom, no. Alright. Silver. No. Silver. Ugh, gold. I don't want gold. I want silver. Is it weird that the knife is like kind of hard to um, select? It doesn't want me to scroll to the. To, hey, is that air? Can I kind of treat this like uh, Sonic, where I get some like much needed oxygen from the bubbles? Is that actually working? <gasps> it is actually working. Oh my god. I was kind of joking, but it is. It's Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Ouchie! Listen, buddy. Listen, we don't have to do this right now. Listen! Hey, buddy! Why are you chasing me for? Turning me into some kind of 50s news reporter. Stop it. All right. Inventory is full of all the stuff. I know, I know, listen, I'm procking it. Whoa, ouch. Ouchies. Ouchie doodles. Listen, I still need that silver, buddy. I'll take I'll take the sulfur if you've got it, but I need that silver. Please pass the message along to your other fish compatriots. Yo, a mod for Subnautica that turns you into Aquaman. You can just tell the fish what you need. Actually, we have technology. Can we not just like ask the fish? Why didn't, has no one thought of this yet? <gasps> silver, yo, silver, yo. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. I don't like the way it says that. It says that in a dominating, you know, context. Yo, hey, buddy, seek fluid. What are you talking about? 
you're gonna have to seek fluid. Why are you saying it like that? That's weird. Just seek fluid. Stalkers brutally attack local streamer. More at nine. Uh, okay, buddy. <laughs> we need we need some water. I am very thirsty. If I told you that I need fluids, that's very necessary. No. Okay, I need the rebreather, right? Yeah. I do need the radiation suit, but uh, later. That was my fingers just now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the answer will always be blub blub. Ask the fish. Um, what was I making? I was making something important, right? I could make some flares. Are flares, like, good? Are they necessary, would you say? I need a wiring kit, that's what I need. Wiring kit requires two silver ore. Where's my second silver ore? Hey, buddy, I need my second silver ore. Post haste. Uh, get me that wiring kit immediately. All right, now we will make a rebreather. Can Aquaman with fish? Heck, can he talk at fish? I'm so glad Bimple is doing an extra stream. Thank you. That's nice. I appreciate that. Um, all right, we're going to turn this basic salvage into this. You might use telepathy or something like that. Aquapathy. Aquapathy. The new mutation for Caves of Cud. It's not useful. <laughs> it only allows you to com communicate with glowfish. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. Um, we could use some food. Recommended. recommended calorie intake. Why are you saying it like that? Vital signs stabilizing. Tequila? Talikia. Should I make some condensed titanium? Is it useful for something? Probably. It would uh, save me a lot of inventory. All right, let's make one. I'm probably gonna need one eventually. I'm assuming it's gonna save me quite a bit of inventory space. Like 10 inventory space or nine, I guess. Uh, yes, that saved me quite a bit of uh, inventory space. All right, cool. Blueprints, window, base attached, air pumps, ladder. I could do with an alien containment thing. Um, I apparently got a, a radio message. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board, coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Ingredients Six unknown. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date bank. Uh, would it be better to make an aquarium then, maybe? Hey, question, chat. If I make an aquarium and put two fish in there, do does it like do they breed? Is there breeding mechanics in this game? Please tell me yes. Um, okay, what is the next thing? Compass. We need a compass, which means... Oh, I shouldn't have made that wiring. Is there anything that copper is used for that isn't... Yes, batteries and stuff. I should not have made that, because I just used up the rest of my co um, copper. That's a bummer. Um, I would like to make another... So we need more silver, unfortunately. Uh, I do want the compass. We, need, we needed the wiring kit for sure, but not, not as badly as all that. Okay, I'm just going to store our stuff. We have some salt now. 
It's nice. Big alien containment does breed more fish if they're the same species. Are you talking about alien containment or the aquarium? Is the aquarium just uh, for cosmetic? It doesn't breed them. Oh, okay. So aquarium is just for uh, aesthetics. It's it's not actually functionally useful to me. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, so I'm looking for more silver specifically so that I can get um, a what you call it compass. And that way I can start making a mental note of which directions I've been in, which places I need to explore more. Kind of wish there was a map, if I'm being honest. I understand that this game uh, intentionally wants you to, you know, get lost and explore. Um, but I get lost very easily. So, you know, the game didn't actually have to try all that hard. What is that? What are you? Creature egg. I, I don't need that right now. Do -do -do. I need more food and water, so we collect. Spook spooky bimpkin is great. Love the spooky bimple. I uh, I have an idea for another spooky bimple, but I don't know if I should do it this year or wait for next year. Weird to plan a, a Halloween spoopy stream an entire year in advance, but you know, there's only so much content that someone can produce in a lifetime, so you may as well not. Just don't. <laughs> I'm gonna become a new kind of content creator. I just don't. Having a compass in a map does not mean it's impossible to be lost. No, but it is less likely to be lost. Oh, see, why is that dude... That dude is, like, carrying scrap and stuff. Is that something that they do? Oh. Not feeling super good about going in there. You're a pumpkin now? Oh, dear. I am. We've been going for an hour and a half. I did say that Subnautica stream was going to be about two hours, and then we are going to switch to... Uh, pathologic. Now look at all of that. That looks like a lot of stuff to look at. These um, creatures seem to be like picking up scrap metal and carrying it. Are they, do they like not like the scrap metal or something? Oh god. Silver? Yo, silver. Oh no, I'm out of power. Oh no. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Like, honestly, um, if the game wasn't telling me that my little thing was, like, in a certain direction, I would probably be lost. Yo, that's all the silver I need. Oh, no. I also need some more uh, mesh. And why not? I'll click some more of this. Oh, I don't need a lot, just a little bit. Oxygen. <laughs> just, just oxygen, nothing else. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you mean oxygen? Just don't worry about it. Oh god, I'm dying. Flames under the water. That's a that's a um, thermal vent. 
What? It get hot under the water? Yo. Big heat under the big wet. He's done it. All right. I like my little tube house. I love my tube house so much. It would be a terrible shame if someone tried to mess with it. Um, let's grab some glass and this fiber mesh and these table corals and that because I probably need to make a battery pretty soon and that should all be pretty good. Copper. Copper. Alright, we're good. Actually, that was gold, wasn't it? I mean, I knew about ther thermal vents. Yes, I know. I know you did. Do not like flame stacks? I mean, they probably... They're probably th flame stacks at some point. You know? Did you think about that? Did you think about how they could be flame stacks at... at you know? At, they could be flame stacks. That's all I'm saying. Um... Okay, hold on. I... Silicon, I need fiber. Oh, did I not collect enough creep vine? You need two creep vine. Damn it. Dang. Dang, buddy. I messed up. Real bad. Um, what is it that I was trying to make? I was trying to make something specific. Emergency flotation device chemical reaction produces a lighter than air gas for fast per personal buoyancy. Is this a one time use thing? Oh, I was trying to make a compass, right? They would if they were above the water. Can they not ignite if they have or are hot enough? But they're not like mine. They're just in jet boiling water. Get the oxygen from the H2O. Let me just look it up and see, because now I'm not sure. <laughs> Classic. Classic, let me go look it up and, and see. Alright, um, use fabricator. So we have a compass now. Very good. I should make some water. What is that other water? Disinfected water. We need bleach. Am I drinking not pure water? Um, okay, so I'm not sure what the next thing I should be shooting for is. I'm just like, I know I'm just doing more exploration. Gold. I should probably, I need more, uh, vine nonsense. Um, I have too much stuff. I'm really not sure what the next thing I should be making is. I think I need to like go and find some stuff. Can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pipe. Um, I guess maybe the radiation suit? Maybe that's why I wanted the, the mesh. Not pure water. Purent water. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I'll tell you what I did need to make was a battery, and I didn't make a battery. Okay, let's make a battery. I need acid mushroom, which I don't have. Oh no, I don't have it. Now I do. I, uh, I do wish that that... I, I don't like that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna complain about that probably a lot, because it's gonna come up a lot. Select. go. You can we weld underwater, mind blown. Salt deposits and tube coral make bleach, which makes big water. And you really need to start exploring other biomes like the kelp forest and red grass platius. Or plateaus. You could always just pick a direction and just go there if you don't know what to do. Um... Salt deposits and tube coral. 
Well, why don't I head towards the uh, the wreckage? Isn't that whoa? That planet is really close. Damn. When you say tube coral, can I like mine this stuff? Giant tu coral tubes. What did I just collect? Coral tube sample. So I need, um, I need uh, salt to make bleach. Who's that creature egg? Okay, let me see. What direction is the ship to me? It is southeast east. Basically south, basically east, but southeast east. Right? Yeah, southeast east. Okay. So, um, I don't need the light for now. I should probably make a flare. In case I get attacked by something mean. There is a radiation there, so I'm not sure if you can get too close. Oh, good call. Thank you. What is that? Is that a creature? Hard to tell what that is. Kind of don't want to know, to be honest. Okay, so since I need the radiation suit... Uh, I actually, what I really need right now is food, so I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing. Is this thing very fast? Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna focus on the fiber mesh and uh, some food. Oh, and what is this? Salt. Perfect. I do need that. I um, guess I'll take grab this, but I, I know what that means. It means there's a one of those creepy dudes. Uh, I don't have enough room is the problem. I really should have deposited some junk. Sorry about this. And fighter, -er. it's getting darker. There's radiation at the big fish. Just watched a quick video, really cool. Got me some wood to stack. And what? You playing a game? Welcome aboard. What do you mean rotten? Does this thing, this stuff like, um, go bad like very quickly? I'll grab what I need later. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go and grab that, uh, creep vine real quick so I can make the mesh. Hope you have a good time, Sock, and stay safe. I gotta poof away. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So I'm going west northwest here. So n west northwest is where this giant tube is, and as I recall, there's quite a bit left to uh, recover in there. There's you know, a lot of stuff I didn't grab. So west northwest looks like a good place to explore. Or sorry, southwest, west southwest. My bad. Compass is helping me a lot. <laughs> there we go. So a lot more salvage there. Do I really? I don't really need any more salvage, right? Can I like kill these dudes? Are they worth killing? Are they, is there something that they give? Oh, this sulfur business is not not okay. 
I kind of wish, um, there's a couple things I kind of wish about this game. I, I wish that I could set markers, like, you know, I should come back here kind of thing, right? Uh, there's like points of interest that I'd like to come back to. I do kind of wish there was a map. I'm sure these are things that other people have said, but I'm saying it. Directions. So I'm gonna make the um, radiation suit. I think you can craft boys. Oh, that would be nice. That would actually be fantastic. Okay, so I should have the materials necessary to make the radiation suit. Um, I need two lead and two thing. Two thing. I have two lead. The other um, fiber mesh is unfortunately in the other storage. You can craft markers that you can leave floating in the water that appear as transparent blips on your screen like the life pod. Oh, nice. That, that is actually really helpful. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft a flare. Oh, I'm like starving, huh? I'm gonna like starve to death very soon. Okay, let's make some food. Coca Colastic. I I agree. I agree. I don't know what you're saying at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Vital signs stabilizing. Fantastic. Okay, let's make um, the radiation suit. So I could head towards the ship now. Um, don't know what's next. Pathfinder tool, maybe, if I am so inclined. Oh, I do want to make a flare. I'm going to... Oh wow, those, that makes a lot of flares, huh? Oh, I see. I can I can press the button. Uh, we don't need the um, the builder for now, so I'm just gonna swap that out. Oh, I see. So I can either have the rebreather or I can have the radiation suit. Good to know. Um, let's make the our titanium so that it saves some space. Um, how does one uh, create the uh, markers? I'm assuming it's going to be in a deployable. I understand that uh, turning the salvage into titanium is not actually um, saving any space. I do understand that, but uh, it does make it a little bit more convenient to move around. I can split it up. I'm thinking um, I should make another storage locker pretty soon. I need some more uh, water and then I'm, I, I kind of want to check out the, the ship now that I have the radiation shoot, suit. I guess I don't really need titanium right now. It's one of the tools to craft uh, at the fabricator. Okay, is it's a t it is a tool then? Well, the thing is, is, I don't think I have that tool available to me yet. Also, I, I listened to the message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed, over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you know, help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. 
Okay. So I'm going east, northeast. I don't know if I can make it yet. I think I have to scan something first. So, what is that? Is that something I should be concerned of? Kind of looks like peaceful, if I'm being honest. It looks very large. Um, but it looks peaceful. Okay, radiation detected. Let's go ahead and swap this. Actually, I don't need this right now. Peaceful, change it to hardcore, please. Well, it, I mean, it looks... You know, it's just big and large, but it's, it's not really doing anything. You know? Short-range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity to a number of small cave networks, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That sound kind of spooks me. PDA data. Oxygen. Okay, I need to get to the surface. Oh, I'm actually, like, really up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I, did I mess it up? Oh, no. Oh no. Um, how much of my stuff do I lose? I seem to have like everything. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, I was not paying close enough attention. I understand that, um, F in chat. I understand that uh, if I'm below a certain amount of, you know, meters, then I lose oxygen quicker. But I've been used to having my rebreather, but I can't wear the rebreather because, um, you know, I'm I'm going I'm I'm purposely trying to get to, to the uh, the ship that is broken. I didn't realize how far underwater I was. Even now, like it feels like I'm not very far underwater, but I am. Please stop swimming with your tools out. Okay. I'm going to not pick up salvage because I, I have enough titanium and I don't need it. Can always get it later. Oh god. Those things are really annoying. Oh really? Oh, that looks like something. A vending machine. Yo, coffee. Metal salvage doesn't despawn, so you can leave it where it is and come back for it when you need it. Good to know. Getting pretty close to the ship. If I see good ore, then I'll, I'll pick it up, but mostly I'm just trying to get to... Oh god, no! Can 
Can I like pick them up before they die? Avenging machine? No, a vending machine. Did I say vending machine? Oh man. Yo, my flippers do not seem to be doing it. They do not seem to be doing the job. I thought that was the one that exploded. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, there's got to be something good here. A desk! Oh, finally! Desk! New blueprint for grav trap? I feel like I just saw something fairly large. What was that? Oh. Hello, Vild. Getting that Tim Hortons experience. Hello, Vild. How are you doing? Okay, we can't go in there. Indeed, I am getting that Tim Hortons experience. What is this? Oh, supply crate. Power cell. How big is that power cell? Okay, it's pretty big. Oh, I sorry, no, it's 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 a large charge, but not not in charge. You know, it's it's a big uh, it's big, but it's not huge. <laughs> oh, there's another thing over there. Oh, there's a lot of things here actually. Is that battery? Nice. That'll be useful. The battery. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Can I not go in there? I thought I could enter that ship. Here we go. Careful. How do I how do I enter the ship? What's that? Cyclops bridge fragment. Ooh. <laughs> Amazing how he is okay right now. Oh no. I don't like how you said that. I definitely hear some spooky things. Can I actually walk in this game? Oh wow. Incredible. You have to enter through the front of the wreck. Okay, thank you. That saved. That saved all of us a little bit of time. Did I just see something over there? More water? First aid kit. Getting some good stuff here. Cyclops engine fragment. Nice. 
I'm assuming I'm gonna need that. Kind of hoping for something unique. Hoverfish. New fish acquired. Disappointed the character doesn't do a funny, funny flipper walk. Yeah, that is a bit disappointing, actually. What is this? Anything cool in here? Oh, look at that. I don't like the way it says acquired. New blueprint acquired. Is that scrap? Salvage. I need the salt for, um, ooh, for uh, making uh, disinfectant. You got the Half-Life 2 gravity gun. Acquired. Acquired. There's a lot of stuff here that you could very easily miss. I'm happy that it's daytime again. Yo, that's a good, that's a good, uh, deposit right there. Silver, solid. What is this? Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Okay. Pass on that. Don't worry, I see the spooky fish. We don't need that light anymore, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm wasting that light. We must be getting... Oh, oh no. We must be getting kind of close. The ship is huge. Air? Air good. Spicy take on air? Air good. Air pretty good. It lacking subtle nuance and flavor, but air good. Can we get in through here? No. Air have flavor in some countries. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, let's let's not do that. Uh oh, hello. I'm assuming that's a baddie. And that I do not want to uh, aggro that baddie. Probably gonna starve to death. Yeah, well, a lot of things recommended right now. Not 
doing this thing, for instance, is 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 recommended. He saw it perfectly. What insane luck for Bimple. Ah, you think I don't know about the Leviathans? I'm sorry, this is not a completely blind playthrough of this. This game's been out for a while, it's pretty hard to avoid spoilers, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm assuming if I take off my radiation suit here, I will die, like, instantly. Like, this, this do be looking like the Chernobyl reactor right now. I thought I could, like, enter this thing. Oh, what is that? Uh, my first reaper snuck up on me like a mad bastard and made me pee myself. Oh, is it not a leviathan? It's a reaper? You can enter the ship. I'm trying. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go to enter the ship. It's very labyrinthine. And I need oxygen. You must save the ecosystem or not, but that is up to you. Um, where where does one tr enter the the ship? Is it like a really obvious entrance somewhere? I am beginning to starve. Uh, let's worry about the ecosystem after having lunch. Thought I saw a ramp like fragment at the surface level, but uh, but not sure. Sorry, y'all, I'm not doing a very good job about this. I'm like looking around as I float up. Uh, there's also, like, invisible walls in certain parts, which is really dis, um, like, disorienting me. I think I'm gonna drown. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Uh, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get back in time. I'm, I'm a kilometer away. Minor spoilers, you're going to need a lot of tools to fully explore the aurora of the spaceship. A repair tool, a propulsion cannon, a laser cutter, lots of food and water. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm not prepared for this at all. Okay, good to know. I kind of thought that I could get the ball rolling. With, um... You know, with the radiation suit, but I guess not. So I'll try and make it back, because I don't want to just, like, you know, die. Oh, he mostly just wanted you to get jump scared and wet yourself with that reaper. Sorry to disappoint you. What's the story behind your character living underwater instead of overwater? You crashed on an alien planet, basically. Uh, s more story revealed uh, as you play it, but basically that's it. It's not not a lot there. Um, the reason you're living underwater and not land is because this is this world is mostly water. Is uh, was my assumption. Some cool stuff down there. Should I not be exploring this area? I am trying to get back, but I figure I can I can look at stuff while I uh, while I do. New creature discovered. Ooh, yummy spade fish! It looks disgusting. In this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. What does that mean? Wondering what those those little lads over there if they're like. Spooky or not. I wouldn't mind collecting some of this. This could be good. Oh, inventory full. Never mind. That sucks. Technically, our planet is mostly water as well. Mmm. I mean, I guess. Okay, uh, alright. So, like, if... If... If you crash-landed... Um... Kinda wanna check out that thing real quick. Is this thing, like, super dangerous? Doesn't look like it is. Beak barnacle. There's even some free oxygen. Do I have enough room? No, I don't. Let's use one of these repair kits. I am starving. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're dying, I know. Uh, Bimple's not eating any raw fish and he's soaking up radiation. I didn't know I could eat raw fish. Okay, that'll that'll buy me some time. Let's pet it. Well, I did kind of pet it. I removed some of its uh, barnacles. That's kind of like petting it, right? Come here. Um, so, I mean, the best thing that happened there is I got a lot of, uh, bl research for the, the Cyclops blueprint. I'm assuming I don't have everything. Inventory full. Those things, there's a lot of those things, huh? Ooh, there's some stuff to check out down there. Speaking of raw fish, kind of want some sushi now, even if I don't like them that much. You satisfied? So guys, we're hitting the two hour mark. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with our progress. I've gotten all of the basic bits for um, for survival. None of the major bits. None of the vehicle stuff, but you know, good enough, right? I would like to get, uh, I know there's a little hand um, propeller that uh, you can get that will jettison, you know, push you forward. How hard is it to, to get that, would you say? 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I saw some uh, bladders or whatever you want to call them. Bladder fish. I am still trying to make it back to my base alive. Just rice and tuna ones, that's the best ones. Are you talking about the rolls or do you like prefer the, is it like sashimi where it's like fish, just fish on rice? There was a Nutella with rice and strawberry sushi in a place here in Brazil. I mean, that sounds all right. I would eat that. No, oh, okay, oxygen, fine. I can't believe we made it, actually. Oh, we have a deployable? Grav trap uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Okay. Um, propulsion cannon warps gravity to pull and push objects. Interesting. We could cure some fish, but I think I'd prefer to just cook some fish. The sea glide, the handheld motor device is easily scanned by finding its pieces in the kelp forest and red grass plateaus. Hence why you've been uh, trying to trying to get me to, to go and explore those zones. Um, which is, you know, oh no, I cooked the bladder fish. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. I blame Kev Bo for that one. Clearly my fault, but I blame Kevbo. Disinfected water. Well, we can. We've got some water, so we can drink water. Um, I could check out those zones before uh, we call it for Subnautica. Technically, half a half of stream would be two and a half hours, not um, two hours. I don't want to short short change any feature today battery. Um, I think it's time to make another locker. Uh, sorry, where is our buildy thingy? Habitat builder. Locker. Wait, what do we need? Quartz. Really? I need quartz. Do I have quartz? Oh, not in there. I don't. Oh, no. Do I not have quartz? Big cook the bladder fish, everyone. <laughs> Cast... Oh no. Wait, wait, was that bleach? Sanitizing applications. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. So oh okay, we can make disinfected water with that, alright. So let's we'll make some more bleach. Is that a 3D printer? Yeah, you, one could call it a 3D printer. Okay, we have one more quartz. Apparently I need more quartz. Did not think that was going to be a thing that happened. Okay, we're making another locker. Uh, avocado with sugar and lemon is the best. Bimple, cooking a bladder fish is like getting a thin sheet of gold foil and using it as toilet paper. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, should I save bleach for any purpose or should I just uh, use it to make water? I have some water so I don't really need to make it right now. Okay, so kelp forest. Um, finding pieces in the kelp forest and red glass plateau. All right, kelp forest. We're going to the kelp forest. Let's let's do it. Um, I'm gonna go the opposite direction of where I was going. So that was northeast east. So we're gonna go southwest west. Deep cleanse. I don't know where the kelp forest is. If you want to give me a heading. 
I would appreciate it. Um, I, this is a game you can get lost in, and, uh, you know, like, if you want to see me get lost, that's actually totally valid. I understand that that is... That is a valid form of entertainment, is watching Bimple get lost. <laughs> mm. The worst part about that is actually just the noise. Make bleach into water right now. Salt deposits are very easy to get later in the game. FYI, there are multiple kelp forests and red plateaus in the game. Like, at least three of each. Jesus. Okay. Well, good to know. Uh, I'm assuming that having your light on is a very good way of attracting the more aggressive fish towards you. So I will not... Oh. There's a lot of these around us right now. Oh, I mean, like, a lot of them around me. Okay... That thing looks special. Oh no! There's like a... Yeah, this guy here. Is there anything special about that guy? No, it's just a normal peeper. I don't know, it's something about it looked like particularly... interesting. Can I not grab the sulfur in that one? Okay, I don't need to visit those right now. Uh, he's doing that after this. Subnautica. There is a sequel, it's called Sub-Zero. No, sorry, not Sub-Zero. Um, is it called Sub-Zero? It's something zero. Maybe zero sub, I don't know. Which is honestly false advertising because there totally is a sub in it. Every little peeper is special. Subnautica sequel is below zero and it's amazing. I've heard mixed things about it. I'm sure it is good, I'm sure there are good moments in it, but I've also heard not good things about it. I know that, uh, you know, it's... The, the primary thing I've heard is that if you like um, Subnautica, you will like it. But the bad things I've heard about it is that if you like Subnautica, it will not... Um, you know, succeed it, if that makes sense. It'll be good, but it won't necessarily, you know, you, you, you'll miss things about Subnautica 1. You know what I don't like about Subnautica 1? There's a lot of pop-in going on. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. I know I'm walking around or swimming around with my uh, tool out. Nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters. Ooh. Cut open to access. Okay. See, this is where I would love to have a marker. Wait, what was that? Something interesting? Can I get in through here? No. Okay. Yo, it was just nighttime. Why, 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 why is it nighttime again?
Oxygen. Yeah, I know. Oxygen. Oh, tool. Sorry. People who don't like Below Zero are the raging fanboys who insist that VZ isn't good because it's not the sprawling, open, empty ocean that Subnautica is. Well, I mean, I gotta admit, sprawling is pretty good, right? You can't argue that sprawling is, is pretty decent. So, um, they just said something something cave entrance 90 meters? Something something? It's definitely a thing here. Can I cut this? Ow! Ow, what the heck? Hey, what the heck, buddy? Hey, buddy! What are you doing? That's not okay. Um... Hmm. I'm assuming there's a, something I want down there, but I'm also assuming there's something dangerous down here. Ooh. Huh. The conditions in this place to support a microcosm of unique. Possibly predatory life or oh, okay. Well, that's enough for me to leave. Artificial structure. Big found the red grass cave. Okay, so I am... I'm southwest of my... I'm 40, 433 southwest of my thing. I'm not going to remember that. Tell you what, I'll write it down. 433 southwest from my thingy. Come here. Um, well, the day No Man's Sky's oceans are like this, I'll play it again. Yo, the day that um, No Man's Sky is fun, I'll play it again. Sorry, Sock. <laughs> I know that fun can be had in No Man's Sky, but I don't. I don't feel like I should have to search that much for the fun. Ooh, what is this? These look like they will hurt. Ouch. Hmm. I, I do seem to be dying, Squirtle. Can I cut these? Well, you know, tell tell me not to go somewhere, and I'll tell you that I'm going. Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, there's a separate entrance. Didn't need to. Didn't need to get the the neurotoxin in my bloodstream, actually. Alright, let me read chat for a second. No Man's Sky had an underwater update, but it wasn't nearly as in-depth as Subnautica sadly that game has gone along. Come a long way though, it's surprisingly fun. Sandbox without enough exploration reward, so it's not that fun unless you make your own fun. I just wanted to have a conversation with you, bro. I'm aware. Switch port is coming with 4.0. Um, I really want to like No Man's Sky because I am a sucker for a sandbox. Um, specifically a space sim sandbox. I really do enjoy a san space sim. Um, space sims have to check a few boxes for me and unfortunately I think that that is true for a lot of people. And so actually my major like problem with space sims is that they don't innovate much. Like you play one space sim and you've played them all. And yet I'm sure there's a lot of nerds like me who are like, yeah, but it's gotta have space trading and it's gotta have 
bounty hunting and it's got to have this and it's got to have that. It's like, well, yeah, but basically what's happening is every time a space sim is like announced or, you know, teased or anything like that. Can we sneak through here? Yeah, we can. Um, you know, people have this checklist of features that they that the game needs to have. And by the time you've added all of those features, there's not really a lot of room or dev time left for innovation. And so the format, um, the space sim format has stagnated, I think, very heavily. Is my opinion. I, I think that's my spicy take for the day. Is I think that space sims are have, have stagnated and they, they've, um, you know... A lot of them are not very compelling. 30 seconds. Oh, am I gonna make it? Remember when I bought Elite Dangerous when I looked at controls and refunded it immediately? I really like Elite Dangerous. I like in, in terms of uh, having a satisfying space sim experience, Elite Dangerous checks a lot of the boxes for me. Personally, I really like it. I actually really like how cumbersome the controls is. I, I know that's stupid. Um, but, you know, it makes me feel like I am actually piloting a ship. Like, I, I feel like a spaceship should not be easy to control. And in a lot of ways, there's already a lot of quality of life in Elite Dangerous that makes it easier than it would be. Uh, in some ways, kind of breaking the immersion for me. <laughs> um, I, I like Elite Dangerous. I think that uh, it's kind of a shame what has happened to it, which is that it got bit by the uh, on-planetary exploration curse that seems to be infecting all of the space sim genre. I think that this, the planetary exploration curse is its a trap that a lot of uh, companies and devs are falling into, which is that, ooh, we could fulfill this desire that a player has that isn't necessarily based on, like, mechanical fun. It's based on some kind of, like, uh, gee whiz, cool, whiz bang. Like, wouldn't it be nice if, if we could explore uh, planets on foot? And I don't think that, you know, like, I just don't think that that is actually going to make a necessarily good game. It has to be done really well, but then if you're going to make it a space sim, you have to make that part really good as well. Like, So you're, you're really just ending up in a spore situation where it's like, well, what you really want are two different games. So what you're saying is you want a down-to-earth, uh, realistic take on Itchy and Scratchy, but you also want a lot of unrealistic robots and, uh, you know, action and, and wild and unpredictable events. Yeah, huh? Uh huh? Yep. Never, never ask the audience what they want because they don't know. They don't know what they want. You have to prove to them that you have what they want. You got to show them, hey, I've got a unique concept and you want it. You, I mean, to be fair, No Man's Sky did do that, <laughs> but um, you know, there there's a there's definitely a, a conversation there to be had. Okay, so that is going to do it for the Subnautica segment of this spooky stream. Thank you very much for hanging out in chat. Let me read chat for a little bit. We need an open source foundation for devs to build upon. You mean? Uh, you mean like a space sim? You mean like? If we had uh, an open source foundation for a space sim that checked all the boxes of having like bounty hunting and um, mining and trading and all of that stuff, uh, then we could like continue to build upon it and actually innovate. That would be kind of cool. I'd be down for that. It's getting a ton of attention from the devs. I agree a lot with you. Have you seen the game Elysium Eclipse? Elysian Eclipse. No, actually, let me see that. Elysian. I'm assuming it's on Steam. 